Greetings, Miss Melinda here to bring you the new moon forecast for our new moon in Pisces taking place on Saturday, March 13th at 4.23 a.m. United States Central Standard Time. For this new moon forecast, I am using the Gift of Life Tarot by Alice Smeets. Really beautiful deck. This is my second time reading with this deck, so excuse me if the reading is a little bit longer than usual. I have gone ahead and pulled our four individual cards, which I will speak about individually and then put all together for our new moon forecast. Our intentions for the new moon forecast is to receive the guidance and the messages that will help us to best traverse the energies of this new moon in the easiest way. The first card is the strength card. Beautiful, bright, vibrant colors in this strength card. I love how your eyes are drawn to focus on those colors, that that is really the focal point of the card. The strength card is all about focus. It's about mental focus, mental clarity. It's about taming our inner beast and gently and kindly bringing ourselves back to focus. Each time that we get off track, we will get off track because we are only human. So bringing our minds back to focus, back to quiet, gentle determination. That is true strength. It's not the brute strength that we often think of. It's not the ability to push things to get done, to manipulate situations or to force things to go our way. It's not a need to push or pull or um, bulldoze ahead, right? It's not that kind of determination that can be overpowering and that can be aggressive. It's about the kind of strength that comes from knowing what we want, knowing where we're headed, knowing what we need, and keeping ourselves on focus with those goals and understanding that if we get off track, it's totally fine. We already have our vision. All we need to do is gently and kindly bring ourselves back to centered focus. The next card is the sun card. I love this card. It's a beautiful sign for clarity. Clarity and inspiration also indicating that things that have been hidden to us or have been cloudy or have been confusing in the recent past may come into clarity. Secrets could be revealed. Um, what we want in terms of our strength, in terms of our focus and our determination may come into clearer focus for us. Um, the sun card is about harmony. It's about um, bringing things into fruition. It's about accomplishing our goals successfully, achieving what we set out to achieve. And it's about feeling joy. It's about feeling joy just for the pure fact of being alive, being able to celebrate being alive, feeling joy and togetherness with our community and with our family. You can see that there is a little boy in this card, in the sun card by Alice Smeets. And the, the sun card very much represents um, family and can oftentimes refer to children um, having a family or um, having a child or having that kind of love and togetherness within your home life, within your family life. So really beautiful signs for um, experiencing happiness with others this new moon. The next card is the moon card. The moon card. Look how lovely. Look at that blue sky. Oh, and people are gathered underneath the moon. This is a lovely card, which definitely makes me think of the full moon, although we are doing a new moon reading. Um, so this, the moon card is typically about mysteries um, and can often be about um, even occult mysteries or magical mysteries or just um, mystical, mystical energy. Um, it, it's very much, this is a very Pisces kind of vibe, right? The moon card is about that um, sort of um, 
underworld sensation, um, the, the dream life, the unconscious life, the subconscious, the things that are underneath the water and really encourages us to kind of take a dive but to do it with safety. Um, the moon card can you know like everything it has um, its ups and downs its pros and cons so the moon card can sometimes indicate people getting too caught up in fantasy or too caught up even in paranoia or delusion um, and kind of losing sense of reality so this is a Pisces new moon kind of vibe you may be really drawn to uh, experiencing and delving into or even experimenting with those mystical aspects of life great time to tune into your divination practice good time to keep a dream journal pay attention to all of these kinds of other worldly experiences and how you're connected to them and how they come through in your daily life but keep your life jacket on yeah don't get um, too caught up in anything that could easily turn into fantasy don't get ca too caught up in um, uh, exclaiming a truth that isn't really that isn't really solidified. Don't allow yourself to drown in the waters of the mystery. Stay balanced, stay grounded. Great time for your spiritual endeavors, especially divination and some of the things that I already mentioned, but keep your grounding activities up. Keep yourself um, firmly planted in your daily material life as well. Great time to work on balance. Secrets may be revealed and messages may come to you through your dreams and it may be a good time to practice creative endeavors, to practice writing, to practice journaling, to practice um, any kind of creative expression you feel drawn to, art, music, dance. This is a great time to do those things and may be the perfect outlet for you in terms of uh, experimenting with or experiencing the mysterious while also staying grounded. So those physical creative activities can assist you with staying grounded as well. The last card here is the Sun of Fire. The Sun of Fire is about new beginnings it's about moving forward towards new beginnings but perhaps not being quite mature enough or quite developed enough in those ideas in those concepts to bring it to full maturation so this tells me that this new moon may be an excellent time to um, begin to experience the the seeds of fresh ideas or new projects or new directions, um, new beginnings, but not necessarily the right time to act on those seeds of inspiration. This new moon may be a time where you just start to grow an idea of what you want for your new beginning or for your next step or for your next project, but not the best time to actually begin to take action. Wait until those ideas come to maturation. Wait until you've had a chance to look at them from all perspectives, to see the practical aspects, and to really um, bring your plan together in a very uh, balanced way. So summarizing our reading, this is a definitely um, a huge, a, a big message here is to take the time for your spiritual practices, including any spiritual practices or magical practices or metaphysical practices or occult practices that you have been wanting to explore further, learn more about or delve deeper into. This is the perfect new moon to take the time for those practices and to to also be sure that you're staying grounded in your body while you're doing so. So balancing those mystical, magical, metaphysical practices with um, some kind of activity in your daily life that's going to keep you grounded, 
through your physical body. If it's a creative practice, then all the better. This is going to be a great time for your community and for your family um, to really feel a lot of unity and wholeness there. It'd be a great time to take some time out to specifically um, dedicate to your family or your community, your loved ones, and to really show your appreciation and gratitude for them and to simply um, celebrate the joy of being together. Just celebrate being together. Really wonderful time for that. Um, keep yourself focused. This is a good time to work on your focus in terms of your the clarity of vision that you have for your future. But don't take too many actions now because new ideas are going to come to you and you're going to need time to fully form these ideas and fully create your plan. So beautiful new moon, happy Pisces new moon. Please be well, please be blessed.